Hello and welcome to the library drawing party. Today we're going to be drawing these beautiful lemons. To get started, we're going to do a watercolor base using our rainbow watercolor set. Let's start with this lemon. So I'm going to be using yellow to start outlining the inside of the lemon. And since lemons are really light yellow, you can use a lot of water for this part. We're just trying to establish the shapes right now. And let's work on the lemon on the bottom. This is like a half circle. And then you see the underside of it a little bit. And then this is a lemon wedge that's been squeezed. Since it's been squeezed, it's not going to have a straight edge. It's got some roughness to it, so you can start adding in some of that. Once you have your shapes established, we can start defining the lemon. So let's work on the lemon peel first. So that's the border around this bottom lemon. And then I'm going to get almost an oval shape here. And then we can darken the rest of the lemon peel. Then let's darken the lemon peel border on the other side. Then let's darken the edge of our lemon wedge. We're not going to see all of the peel, so we don't have to worry about going the whole way. This, this part was used, so it's going to be almost smushed. Okay, once you have your lemon peel, then we can start to add in the center. So it's like a circle, but since there's all these segments, you're going to want to make sure you're showing the segments. One way you can do that is with your brush. Use the side of your brush. So that you're seeing the length of your brush. Now if you're using a wide fan brush, you might have to adjust this technique. You're just going to want to make sure you have like a almost like a scalloped edge. And then same thing beneath. You want to leave some lighter yellow for the rind. So you don't want this to go all the way edge to the edge of the lemon peel. 
And because this one is a little smushed, you can add in some wedges, but we don't need this to be as defined as what we were working on with the, our other lemon slices. Okay, now let's add in some other elements of interest. A lot of times lemons have green in them. It might not be totally ripe or a piece of it may still need to ripen. So let's use that to create some visual interest. Now be careful, you don't want it to be too dark. So this is a good opportunity to get your brush wet so you can spread out the color. But you don't want it too wet because you don't want the yellow to start to bleed once you add all of that water. And you can always add some color back in. Then for the seeds, we use a brown I'm going to use a light brown first. Then I'm going to add in a little bit of dark brown to really emphasize the seeds. By using both colors, this will help give it a little bit of depth. And also it helps to blend it in with the rest of the lemon because the seeds are usually somewhat covered by the pulp of the lemon. While that's drying a bit, let's work on the background. So the background, we're going to use that same light brown to start setting up the cutting board. So these lemons were on a cutting board. It's okay if it goes off the page. It just means we're not seeing all of the cutting board. And then there's the handle down here, so we have a hole. I'm leaving some white near the lemon wedge so we can work on the translucent pulp. Okay, once you have your base coat, you can start to work on the countertop. The countertop is a great opportunity to use up scraps. And when I'm talking about scraps, I'm talking about leftover mixed colors from other projects. So I have two colors here. I have a grayish purple color and I have a light green color. I'm going to save the light green color for another opportunity, but I am going to use this purple gray color. If you don't have any scraps, you can always mix a color that you're happy with. I like the purple because the purple is going to be a nice contrast to the lemons. These yellow and purple are complementary colors. So if you want to create this color and you don't have it, then you would use purple, maybe some blue, some black. That way you get some gray tones while still keeping that nice purple. When you want this to be light, you're going to want to put a lot of water in.
Now some of your countertop color goes into your cutting board. That's not a problem. In this particular section, we're actually going to be doing a lot of shading later on. So I think I'm just going to leave it. But you can always add more color back in. Or you can use some of your water to remove the extra paint. But I think in this case, it's best to just leave it. Alright, now while the countertop starts to dry, let's work on our cutting board again. I want to start putting in some lines. Most of the lines that you see here are from the colored pencil, but I did add some lines in before that. I'm going to take a darker brown and put some vertical lines in with my brush. This will start to establish the wood grain. You want some variation in the darkness. That's going to establish the wood grain. So you don't want to smooth this out. You want to keep this pretty vertical. Once you've worked on your cutting board, you can take some of that dark brown and just dot the countertop. This will help establish the marbling effect that we're trying. You also want some black. And I'm just stippling right now, so I'm just dotting with my brush. I want this to be pretty organic. You can also just take a wet brush and just stipple water. So help blend the colors without losing the texture that we're creating. You can use some more countertop color. I'm going to add some purple into that. This will help bring out the lemon tones. You can choose to go darker or lighter. In my sample, I went a little lighter. In this current project, I went a little bit darker. So that's up to you about the countertops. That's really flexible because there's so many different kinds of countertops. Okay, once your lemons had a chance to dry, then let's go back in and add some more yellow to really bring out that bright, vibrant color. That's a good way to smooth out the lemon peel too. And let's add in some more color in our segments. We don't want to keep the rind pretty light though. 
We don't want to be adding any more color to the rind. You can paint right over the seeds. And then this is going to be a little bit more free form because this is our used lemon wedge. Just want to add in a little shadow and take a tiny bit of black. Just hint at the shadow. We'll add more shadow in with our colored pencils, but this way, just hinting at it. I'm gonna add some purple too. That would be a nice way of shadow. Adding some shadow. So then you're once again emphasizing those complementary colors. Take some light brown, mix in so that the shadow fades into the rest of the wood. Okay, once you get to this point, you're going to want to let your lemons dry. Overnight is the best. An hour or two should work good too, and we'll see you soon. Hello and welcome back to Library Drawing Party. Now we're going to be adding the final touches to our lemons using our colored pencils. So to get started, let's use our sandy colored colored pencil to draw vertical lines for our cutting board. This will help emphasize that wood grain that we started working on in our watercolor base. Okay, you can also emphasize the edges And smooth it out. Okay. You can also take your dark brown and add in some more texture by adding some more vertical lines. I'm going to be a little bit more sparing with these because we don't want to change the color too much. We just want to add some more visual interest. And then let's do the shadows for the lemons. Let's take our dark brown. We're going to outline the bottom. Nothing in nature is perfect, so this does not have to be a perfect circle. There can be a little imperfections. And then this is our darkest part here in the drawing. And then it fades out a bit. So we press down hardest right here and then we loosen our grip as we move away. And then let's add some shadow below. We want to keep this pretty loose because this lemon was used so the segments are broken open and the pulp has been broken open and we want to keep that element
Okay, and let's add some shadow to the cutting board. So there's shadow in the hook hole. And then there's some shadow on this side. And then some shadow on the other side. The light is coming this way. Okay, now I'm going to stipple. I'm just adding dots for a colored pencil to help bring out the marble look. Use my sandy color too. And we'll also use a little bit of purple. Okay. Now that we've worked on the background, let's add some final details to our lemon. So we really want the lemon peel to be nice and bright. So let's take our yellow color pencil and let's just re-emphasize that. And also smooth out any edges. And I'm going to work on these segments. You want to leave some lines visible. Because when you open up the lemon, the pulp has all those lines the fibers. We want to show that. And we'll do the lemon peel on this one. Remember this is a wedge so we're not going to see all of the peel. And add in some random lines. Let's take our sandy color and help emphasize those seeds. We don't want it too defined though because the seeds are visible through the pulp so we wouldn't be seeing them very defined. And even take some gray and some gray in the center. And you can blend it with your finger. Then let's take some green and use that for a bit of shadow. Well, it'll add a bit of color without losing the vibrant yellow that we we're working so hard to achieve. And then finally, let's take our correction fluid or white paint. We 
we're going to use the edge of the brush to draw in our segments. You can add some dots along the rind for highlight. And even on the edge of the peel. And let's add in our segment lines down here. And then there's a big line going across. It shows how the lemon was cut. And there's a couple down below. And then in the core, it's a little bit more white lines. Add those to where the seeds will go. And then because this is used lemon wedge the pulp is going every which way so just want to make sure the lines are also going every which way you can add in some more dots to the rind give it some highlight and then you want to wait for that to dry and then you can clean up any edges and add in some more yellow. And there you have it. That's our lemon. Thank you for joining us in this week's library drawing party. We have library drawing parties every Wednesday at 7 p.m. We hope to see you again and keep being creative.